What up, YouTube? This is going to be my first YouTube video. Um, it finally got to me. I finally gave in. Uh, I've been watching a lot of people like me, uh, mainly Taco Stacks and Blue Bus Day, two of my favorites to watch. Do their antiquing, flea markets, scrapping, junking. Uh, I call it junking. But that's basically what I do. I buy and sell old things, anything I can make a dollar off of, uh, antiques, collectibles. Um, some stuff's new, some stuff's not. Um, just kind of whatever catches my eye. I thought about doing a bunch of like uh, auction vlogs and yard sale vlogs, picking vlogs, whenever I go and pick, stuff like that. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that, if you want to see more. Maybe I'll like this YouTube thing and we'll stay on it. Uh, we'll just see how it flows. So I figured for my first video, I'll just give you kind of a quick walk around of my garage. Um, show you some of the things I got and then I'll show you what I picked up today at the yard sales I'd like to do a future one like actually picking at yard sales so you can, you know, can really see what I got um, But yeah Do just a quick walk around This is it got had downsized to an apartment garage. So for now, this is all I got Mostly everything's boxed away. You won't be able to see a whole lot um, I'm hoping here in the next couple weeks, I gotta do a clean out and start tagging a bunch of stuff, getting ready for the big yard sales. I'm from the Midwest, so I do like the 127, the roller coaster, stuff like that. Um, so I gotta start prepping myself for the roller coaster this year. First weekend of October sounds kind of crazy that it's so far out, but gonna be prepared. So we'll hit you with some of my finds from today. I got picked up that Coke crate, nice shape. You know, two bucks kind of pass on it. Same with the popcorn tin. Sorry about the glare, but for a buck, couldn't pass it up. Um, this all pretty much came from the same lady. She had a, I guess, an antique shop or refinished at one point in time. Was closing it down, and yeah. My next one was this basket. I usually don't do baskets unless they're like longer burgers, but. I gave a buck for it and the one that's in it and it's a Baskerville um, sorry for the poor quality using my phone not don't have a fancy camera or anything yet or GoPro but for a buck for both of them I just threw this guy in this one's not marked or anything but it's a cool little sewing basket it's got you know it's got the on um, the top opens up but yeah picked up both those picked up this I thought it was super cool the lady refinished it it's a originally try to get out of y'all's light it's originally a double cola coke crate and she refinished it and turned it into a towel rack you could still see double cola there and I don't know if you folks can see it up there, but I thought it was pretty cool for two bucks. Couldn't pass it up. I also picked up this little podium from her. It was handmade. It says right here on the top on the plaque. See if it'll focus. In memory of builder's class teacher, 1947 to 1977 is his name. So someone's like building class. I'm guessing they made it for their teacher that passed away, but. It's already sanded. She was going to refinish it, she said. I'm glad I caught her before she did. I personally like it better like that. Also got that old phone down there from her. The podium was five. I think I paid like two or three bucks for that phone. Also got this super cool old trap from her. She refinished. But like a rabbit trap, I guess. Rabbit, small raccoon small rodent but it still works you still set it that's yeah, hard to do with one hand yeah so it sets animal goes in you know hits this little back guy pops out pretty cool for five bucks I gotta get better at price and stuff everyone says I price my stuff way too cheap because I was thinking like 15 bucks so let me know like what you guys think I might really be way too cheap but I'm really bad just about moving stuff and getting it gone. 
um, I grabbed this real cool old print of what looks like the Confederacy. But, yeah, I thought it was super cool. I grabbed this old box from her. Got some old tools in it. She refinished the box. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. I apologize. I'll get in the next video. It'll be better. I promise. Next, I picked up this Indian guy from her. It's got, it's busted out at the bottom. But, I mean, you set something in front of it. You're never going to know. For five bucks, I couldn't pass it up. I'm going to try to patch his ear up. A little chip off there. Not sure if I can fix that. It's mostly, like, it's plaster. So, but, yeah. I thought it was super cool. I grabbed a bunch of toys. They were all, like, a buck or two for a buck. And the only one that really has any value is this Tonka Jeep. It's got the windshield that flips up. Everything else is just little die cast, repop, John Deere's metal at least. But, I mean, should make money on it. And then getting into here, I grabbed these, this duck bookend. Thought that was pretty cool for a buck. Got a handful of a gold copper piece. Got a little piece. Got these hand carved, I guess they're vases maybe? They're not old. I don't think they're old. I could be wrong. But the carving's super cool in them. And for, I actually threw them in with something else for a dollar. So I kind of really pass them up for what she wanted for them. Um, she had an antique shop and she was just closing it. She just said she was done with it all and didn't want to fool with it anymore. Um, getting into the next box though, we got another. Basketville, focus, there we go, Basketville basket, you know, she threw that in too for a buck, almost everything I got from her was a dollar, it's all good flea market stuff, I'll show you guys some flea market vlogs, if that's what you guys want to see when I go set up, I got a bunch of these NASCARs, a handful of these dub guys, I mean, most of them was two for a dollar, I got this Nylant truck, um, and once again, there's more down in there. I got these little, uh, these are cool. Um, I'll make good money on it all. But this little bitty John Deere guy. Phil Focus. Anyways, it's a little John Deere tractor. And it's like, it's actual metal. I was kind of surprised it was actual metal. It's not old, but once again, just something... I'll throw it in the ship case and it'll make a little story. Um, moving into the next box, some wood carved bowls. This one's not really old. It's Hawaii. But the carvings on the side are still pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But I got these two both for a dollar. Both of them for a dollar. This one. If you guys know anything about this one, let me know. I mean, I'm probably going to price them super cheap, like a couple, three, four, maybe five dollars. But this one doesn't have a name or anything on the bottom. But the carving's super detailed, if you guys can tell. But yeah. Um, this was a pretty crazy find. I was pretty happy with this. I mean, I know they've gone down a lot in value, but this face... I flipped it over and some McCoy for a dollar. I know they've gone down a ton in value and she said the same thing, but still to find a McCoy out of the pick like that and for the buck, I couldn't pass it up. Um, I grabbed a handful of these little pictures. Let me try to, I can't remember what's all down that newspaper. I ain't gonna unwrap it all, but I grabbed this chessboard with these hand carved pieces for a dollar as well. Put that back in there. Try to 
semi. Crap that. Sorry for that noise. That was probably terrible of me. Um, yeah, I grabbed a bunch of these small pictures. John Deere tractor. These are all a dollar a piece. Cowboy beer sign. It's metal. It's not old. It's a repop. But once again, for the price, kind of passed it up. The Alice, Alice Chambers. Another one, you know, for a dollar. And this other little one, Coca Cola. Like, I'll get more than that out of them. Uh, I grabbed this. I doubt there's any value, but. A little FedEx collection. It's new in the box. I mean, it's not old or anything, but it might have a little value to it. Uh, I also grabbed all these. These are all a dollar a piece. This one's like a plaster as well. Beer. And then we got Taz motorcycles. I thought that one was pretty cool. I grabbed this other motorcycle one. I grabs this motorcycle. Got a handful of those. That one. And a couple John more John Deere's. Someone will probably want them to hang up in their barn or their garage or something. Um, stick all these back in the box real quick. And then if any of you guys know what this is, I know it's some kind of press, but I'm not sure for what. Um, I grabbed this from her too. She didn't know what it was either. Let's get another dollar item. But uh, you won't be able to see it about here in the dark. But yeah, it's like a little press or I guess it's for maybe wine bottles. Put the cork in and then press it down. But it looks like it has some age to it either that or she just redid it. Um, pretty sure she redid it to an extent. But I couldn't find any markings or anything on it. And I, once again, for the price, I wasn't going to pass it up. I just thought it was cool. Um, yeah. This is the one thing I did pay up for this sharpening wheel. You guys can read that at all. It's got the plate on there still and everything. The only thing it's missing is the oilers, um, which it's hard, it's really rare to find one that's actually complete. But the wheel doesn't have any cracks or anything in it. I'm not sure the value of these, if they've gone down or up. I had one a while ago. Um, it does have some chunks in the sandstone, but overall it's in nice shape. And he threw in that extra one without a out of stone for 60 bucks and he threw in this little iron too cast iron iron which I don't think has any age to it I could be wrong but something that I go in my showcase um oh yeah I'll grab these from that lady too there's a couple cast iron toys down there in that Pepsi crate it's not gonna focus or lighten up grabbed a handful of t-shirts from her I do clothing as well if some of you guys want to see me do thrifting videos with my clothes once again let me know in the comments um, and we'll go from there but all those tubs are full the trunks all the boxes on the shelves so you know maybe one day well you guys will get to see it if you want to see the roller coaster if i decide to stay with this if you guys want to see me go set up on the roller coaster i'll take you guys with me i'll show you, you know the setup and try to take a video a couple days maybe do like a little entourage or something or whatever for the next for a couple days i'm down there set up me and my grandpa are both going so we'll have some great stuff um but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys like it, maybe I'll keep make this a regular thing and we'll keep going. You know, let me know in the comments. Peace out, guys. Keep it easy. Keep it real.